What's going on guys? All right, so today my wife is having us pull this coral out because she's convinced that these hairy mushrooms are stinging are beautiful, or once beautiful, devil's hands. So yes. we're going to pull this entire rock out. We're gonna cut along the base here. We're gonna just basically frag himself, but we're gonna keep him whole. We're not actually gonna frag him, but we're gonna pull him off this rock, relocate him somewhere over here. We're gonna do that by just pulling the rock out and drop it in this styrofoam bin. Save him. And we're gonna use an extremely sharp surgical knife to uh, try and remove him off this rock and save the day. So this is her idea. We gotta save him. He's shriveled up and has been for so, about a week and a half. So we're gonna save him. I thought he was shedding, but I don't really see anything coming off any longer. Like I see the shininess, but I don't see the old skin lifting. So we're gonna go with her idea. I think she might be right. We may kill this thing, but we're gonna try to save it. So sometimes <laughs> bad things happen when you're trying to do good, right? I'll let you know how this one turns out. Wish us luck. Yeah. All right, so we got him. We got the entire rock lifted. Nobody was hurt during uh, the transition here. We just grabbed it. We just pulled a crane up and just pulled him right up out of here. We lifted him out of the tank and set him over here. So we got it going. So what we're doing is we're going to just scalp him right off that rock and save them. Save what we can of him. I'm not trying to cut him in half or anything. But uh, step one here. All right, so we've got a very sharp, we're using a fillet knife actually. And we're just kind of going along the rock. We're gonna try to cut it as clean as possible here. And boom. I don't think that'll regrow into anything, but I could be wrong. We'll see. Keep it on All right, so we've got that. Cut the uh, leather off, the devil's hand. We're leaving the mushrooms. We're just gonna drop this guy back into here. Which is great right here. We can kind of turn it now. All right, that looks good. And what we're gonna do is put a glass cup in the bottom of the tank here with some a couple shells and that allow over the next week for this to reattach to some rubble and then we can place them throughout the reef where we want them so we'll keep a watch fly he feels good so i don't think we we're gonna have too much trouble but it's just send him in the salt water here for now until i get the cup be right back at you we're gonna use this cup here i'm gonna place it kind of behind this rock but all you do is fill it up drop it where you want Probably gonna bring it over here. I don't want that much light. It's an eyesore for a day too. You, if you have a, a light, a grow light of any sort, down below, like in your sump, it's a good spot to do this as well. But we don't have that currently. So we're just gonna take a couple shells, drop in there, and then I like to take a little sand as well because it just kind of helps it all bind together. Is it that way it doesn't attach to the glass? It'll just have a little substrate there. We're gonna use about three of these. Here's a broken one. You're just gonna make a nice layer, and then you wanna set this guy, however you want to position, right on that. Just on the substrate there. And then just drop a little bit more. And that should, about a week, five to eight days, you should start to see that attach. Now, if this thing's already dying, or dead, we'll say, um, obviously it's not gonna be growing, it won't attach anything, so. We'll keep a watchful eye here, see if Mrs. A is correct in what she thought here. Hit that subscribe button, guys. Like, this one's gonna be a good one to follow. Let's roll. All right, guys, so he's in the glass. You can see I've got the rubble under him perfectly. He'll start to attach to those shells over the next couple of days, if all went well. But surgery went good today. And I don't know, we've got enough skin there left on that rock. That may start to regrow. I assume it will. These leathers are wild. They can pretty much cut them up and they'll regrow pretty quickly. So I assume we've got enough left there that we'll probably have another one start to form there over time. Maybe, maybe not, we'll see. But uh, thanks for joining us on surgery today. We seem successful at this point. Hopefully we saved him.
Good looking, though. All right, talk to me. Yeah. Like, subscribe, drop a comment. Let's roll.